Bro, Toriko was freaking insane, man. Yeah, like th 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 this is this is the thing that makes this chapter so crazy, man. It's the design of Neo, bro. The design of Neo makes it so freaking. I, I, it just gives you chills. I don't even know what it is because it, it it looks like the type of drawing that you would see in a in a book that that would be like something of something from like really like i'm talking about prehistoric times of like a creature that would like it can be communicating at that point in time and it's 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 so weird and and i but i love it i love it and it, right here is narration on page eight where the spaceship actually takes off which by the way i need to ask this question about the whole livestock thing so I, they stated that the demons who were known as livestock were were then being t taken care of uh, by 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 the nitro, but what about those demons that weren't known as livestock? What in the hell were they doing, and who are they? Because we because listen, bro, if Neo was livestock, and I understand that the reason why he is this is because, or the reason why he is this way, because he was left off alone, he was given freedom and whatnot, and all that other nonsense. But what what's 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 the scary thing to me? about this entire situation is the fact that it, what about the demons that weren't livestock how powerful are those guys <laughs> like 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 just imagine had they been left alone like this but maybe ne it's just a neo's a special case but i don't know man the way that manga stream worded that i was i was a little shook i was like holy crap don't 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 tell me don't tell me that that there is actually more demons than just these livestock that were presented man that, that gives the possibility of space even more you know, that just gives a bigger possibility to us delving into space, gives it a higher possibility. But getting off that, I want to touch up on this panel, because this dialogue was insane. Here we go. That was what started the nightmare. That, this was the moment Neo had always waited for. We get a close-up on his face, and it looks crazy. The chance to be free. And you see him just chest out. You know, he looks down. And, and I'm just gonna continue on here with the chapter. I'm gonna read it along you, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna discuss because it's 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 insane. It's insane the uh, just how much everything changed, All right? So he looks down. And you see that he's just going right down into the bees, and he's grinning. He's happy. This is the honey coming out. You're like, bro. He's oh my god, dude. Neil is crazy. He, he he's serious. He's, he's insane. I, I love this chapter and the backstory presented for Neil because I did not expect a backstory like this. I really didn't expect a backstory like this for Neo, and the thing is, is oh, like look at this. After Neo had broken free from the watchful chains of the Nitro, he was no longer the simpleton livestock that the Nitro had once known, and he you see him just going completely in. Now I cannot lie to you. When I saw this original panel of of Neo going up against these dinosaur like creatures. I what what I originally took that in as, but then we see that you know it was a, it come, there's completely other planets that Neo went to. But when I saw this particular panel of him going to the dinosaurs, I thought Mitsutoshi was trying to tell me. I thought Mitsutoshi was attempting to tell me that the reason the dinosaurs went extinct is because of Neo. And that will that I, I mean. <laughs> I would have been shook. I would have been shook because when I saw those panels, and I saw the night that the Neo just going absolutely balls insane, eating the living hell out of these dinosaurs. I mean, look at this. Well, these are look like dinosaurs, and some of them are breathing fire. And I was like, yeah, these things are, are look like dinosaurs to me. So originally, I thought Toshi was trying to tell me that Neo was the reason why these things weren't extinct. And had that been the case, Mr. Toshi has delivered the hype. <laughs> but but he does not stop there. But he does not stop there, son. From his experience, from his time spent as livestock, Neo had secretly discovered that the moment that living beings gush out the most flavor is the moment they die. And it doesn't end there. Many animals during the moment of their death will secrete a great amount of dopamine within their brains to try and tranquilize the stress of dying. Next page. The stronger the despair of death is, the more the brain creates this pleasure substance to completely counter it. This difference create an creates an intense savoriness and flavor which happened to be Neo's favorite of all. 
At times, it would pick one out of, out one single prey and continue to stare it down from inches away. For three days and three nights, it would cling to it and, ult and apply the ultimate fear of knowing that no matter what, it would never be able to escape. Son, Mitsutoshi has done his job of attempting to make me get hyped about something that I had only been hyped up through words alone. He gives us a one-chapter backstory, which is going to continue next week, after the way this chapter ended, for damn fact. This thing, its appetite, and the thing that its, its favorite food, its favorite type to eat is right before it's something's death. Because that's when it's the tasty. See, it loves playing around with its enemies, and then the whole three days, three nights thing, man. That that's just that's that that's fear. That is literally an animal playing with their prey so that he can get the best type of taste out of it. For three days and three nights, Neil proceeded to hunt down and let them know the ultimate fear: the fear of being closed in. The fear of not being able to get away. The fear of no longer having that hope for survival. Neo is insane. And the panels that were used... I think it's because Neo just looks like such a simple creature. That he looks, looks so scary and he looks so intimidating. Because it's crazy. Then we go into page 16. And this panel was a, it was a, the almost exact same panel that I remembered from Hunter x Hunter. Whenever uh, Meruem scared the living hell, the living hell out of Wolfen. I, <laughs> you cannot tell me that out, out of Wolfen, man. You, you cannot tell me that, that, that this was not the exact same panel. And after drawing out its flavor to its absolute peak, it would devour it. Because that was its favorite food. And you're like, damn, yo. Dark and profane feeding habits through and through are already possessed by the likes of vermin. The most terrifying of all is Neo's appetite, and you see it just going in, completely eating. It just does not cease to eat, and it's scary. This part right here, Mitsutoshi, once again, he knows how to, he knows how to deliver hype. Listen to this page. Within this galaxy, there was a planet that was known as a great fertile land. And you see it. You see dinosaurs here. You see beautiful huge mushrooms. You see flying pigs. It just It looks really, really beautiful. You see grapes the size of freaking trees. It's insane. With a diameter of 140,000 kilometers, it was a giant gourmet paradise. And yet the pulse of this delicious, tantalizing planet in which hundreds of millions of years were spent cultivating... In just one month, Neo had stopped it, its pulse dead, and we see a barren wasteland. And the thing that scares me about this entire situation is that Mitsutoshi is attempting to, to, to tell us that a lot of planets were like the planet Earth into where they they flourished in then type of stuff but the reason why a lot of planets that we tend to look out in the space and see that they are completely empty is because of freaking neo that is feats that delivers hype to neo and i have to clap it up for mr toshi for that have to clap it up for mr toshi for that have to have to for bringing that type of insight ah god almighty He's trying to say that that is the reason why we can, we can never find life on other planets. Because Neo stopped its pulse dead. And he did this to so many. And it's scary. It's scary. And it's crazy. But it delivers the hype. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Love this chapter. Im impossible. What is this? What the heck happened here? You know, they were shook. They didn't know. They, they didn't know. They, they left him behind. Like, it's just simple lives. Like, he'll get eaten away. The Nitro had the slightest, the slightest idea of what transpired, but after this event, fertile planets with life and creatures one after the other began dying off in succession, as I said before. And then we get the final, the final page. And this page is, is honestly could become one of the best panels in the entirety of Toriko for me. Because you cannot tell me by looking at this panel of, 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 of Neo that this does not look like the freaking behelot. This reminds me so much of the behelot in Berserk. And the way it connects to the Eclipse, Mitsutoshi, don't play with me. 
the nightmare had still only just begun. It's eating planets. It's it is making not 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 as eating is not as, not as eating planets. He's doing things worse. He's, he's stopping their pulse dead while keeping the actual thing there still. The object, the star, it's there, but it's completely dead. Neo is absolutely crazy, man. And it states that the nightmare had only just begun. And you see, you can just see how malicious and dangerous this creature is from just looking at it in this panel. And it's crazy. It looks like the freaking behillet. And the way how this connects to the, to the eclipse as well is... I can't wait to see the continuation of this backstory. Neo's backstory is crazy. He was left, he was a lone demon, and because it left him alone, he was dangerous. He finally found freedom. But I absolutely love how Mitsutoshi tied it into to the reason why we know, why, why we see planets as barren wastelands with no life. And why we know of the possibility of there actually being life out there. It's just like freaking Neo took them all out. That's scary, that's insane. It, took, it takes him a month. It takes him a month. It takes him a month. In a year, an entire galaxy could be wiped away. That's scary. That is feats. That is feats. Neo is a powerful creature. Neo, Neo is a fearful creature. And the nightmare had only just begun. So I'm looking forward to getting the continue the continuity of the backstory. Gigi's telling it right now. So I'm looking forward. Well, uh, technically, they're all probably telling the same exact story. But I, I really am curious on seeing how this story is about to finish. Because that's going to add an extra layer of hype to Neo, yo. I'm already hyped enough for Neo. And after last week's chapter, I really needed this chapter to uh, to boost up my my Toriko um my my, my Toriko fanboy level because this this chapter brought it this chapter brought it Neo I'm excited I'm really excited now to see Neo in the present, in which beforehand I was looking forward to a couple other things when I was with Neo now I can't wait to see Neo again and I can't wait to get the continuation of this backstory next week, and how this connects to how in the hell did Neo end up inside of Akasia? That is, that is the question. And that is the question that's probably going to be answered. So what we're about to get right here is going to be awesome sauce. This is well-needed exposition about the past and backstory of the Toriko world. And it's something I really, really love. And it's something that just it, it, Mitsutoshi just does so well. This is for Mitsutoshi really shines. And I really can't wait to see what's about to happen next. So you guys have not subscribed today. Let me know, let me know your thoughts down below on this chapter of Toriko. Because Neo is dangerous. And remember this final panel with the freaking behillet. And this nightmare has only just begun.